Welcome to the Return to Love show. And I am your host, Divya Madhur, here to talk about everything relationships, love, healing, emotional, mental wellness, and everything that makes life this beautiful experience to go through. So hold on and see what we are going to be talking about today. Now, today's topic is very interesting, you know. It's something that you may have dealt with in your life at least once for sure, if not more. And it's something that we come across in our relationships very often and is a part of our emotional mental experience as we move through relationships. And yes, what are we talking about? We're talking about love love you know love that's out there in the media in the movies in our lives yes love now what about love so we spoke about what is love in our previous conversation and what is returning to love now today we're going to be talking about when we talk about love what is love in itself because all of us have different definitions of love we've experienced something called love in so many ways in our life and it may just be a very um perspective and not an experience of actual love you know because uh, we see so many things happening in movies when we call abuse love where we call toxicity love we call manipulation love we call a parent beating a child love we call somebody harassing someone that this is happening out of love but you know it's not true none of that is true that is not love all of those kind of behaviors are all happening out of lack of love it is not love when somebody says somebody hit me because they love me it is not love it is completely out of love it is completely lack of love it's not in love so what we are going to be talking about today is does love hurt so first we need to know what is love in its first place you know love is a feeling that is a very whole feeling you know remember a moment when you felt deeply loved and appreciated by somebody how was the feeling in the body did the body shrink like this or did the body feel like expanded moving outwards and feeling like i can do anything in this world or did your body feel did your body experience feeling like oh i no go hide in a corner i need to just you know kind of shrink and not be seen what was the feeling if you had the feeling of shrinking then you what you were experiencing is not love at all if you were experiencing the expansion and that is love so coming back to the point that love is wholeness love is something that you know makes everything greater bigger and a lot more grounded very peaceful very calm it's not something that takes away any of this so love is an emotion that we already have inside of us okay let's take an example when you see something that you love and it's a non living thing it does not have life of its own and you look at it and you feel love towards it that thing does not have love inside it the love is inside you but you feel it because something in you got activated by seeing that thing because you have a certain association attachment to that particular thing and that's the same thing that happens to you remember any moment when you were in love with someone you loved someone deeply and when you looked at them there were so many emotional bursts coming out of you you would feel so much you know like that pouring out for your love and it's giving everything to them kind of feeling but if you had a break up or falling apart of with that person did you experience the same thing again a lot of possibility no because what you were experiencing was inside of you you were experiencing love not because the other person is giving it to you it's because it was already inside of you and you were feeling it inside of you when you saw them and you loved them and when the time came when you did not feel enough love for them that particular emotion did not find place in your body and your heart so we are talking about love that is already inside of you love is always inside of us there is never a time when love is not inside of us yes we do not feel love all the time why because layers of shame guilt jealousy comparison uh, conflict or hatred or many such things apathy depression take over the feeling of love so the feeling of love is persistent but 
something else comes on top of it it's like you using your mobile and putting some kind of film green color film on it then you'll see everything green it's not that the mobile has turned green you have just put a green screen on top of it which makes everything on your mobile screen green and what if you put a red screen everything you see is going to be red it's exactly the way when you look at anything with love or you look at anything without love now the love is a thing that is inside of you is an emotion that is inside of you is an expression that's inside of you when you choose when to express it or not to express it so remember first thing the love is inside you it does not come from outside outside is a reflection of the love that is already inside you and that you express one aspect of it the second aspect we're talking about is what it literally is love now love is an emotion that we feel when we are at peace with ourselves when we are completely loving and accepting of ourselves and now you would question that i feel love towards someone you feel love towards someone because there is love already inside of you however you may not have given it to yourself now that may sound complicated yes but think of a moment when you were in a good mood or you are you know in a new love feeling that you just met somebody and you have those feelings right what happens the world appears beautiful you feel like everybody is smiling at you right these things happen you feel like the weather is always so good why is that happening that's happening because you have put on that glass the green glass on your eyes or a red glass on your eyes and that's how you're experiencing the world the same way when you are very angry when you are very upset what happens you will see people will be annoying you will experience weather is bad you will experience people are just coming and triggering me but it's not them doing things to you it's because you're already full of that emotion which you are carrying inside of you right so love is the feeling of creation love is the feeling of expansion love is the very energy or the emotion with which we are created and brought into this world as human beings love exists when you look at a small child they come with love they don't take love from anywhere and then start to process it they already have love inside of them and when people look at them like oh cute so sweet it's because that child is able to invoke that feeling in the other person and that other person has love inside of them for the child okay so love is a constant love is always there it's just the layers that keep going up and down based on our everyday experience of life another thing love is inside of us love is not outside of us anything that happens that is a reflection in our life of what's happening inside of us love itself is an emotion which brings us back to our whole self our complete self we can literally experience love in the most difficult situations also when we love ourselves we can experience that and we will talk about self love in a different episode not this one however it was very important to first understand that any kind of portrayals that you have seen of anything which feels less which feels shrinking which feels not comfortable is not love it never is because love is the most kind most comfortable most grounded feeling that we have and all of us have that inside of us and every time we are feeling unlovable or unloved it's we feeling the lack of that emotion for ourselves allow this to go into your system your heart your body your mind and allow it to settle down and remember that love is right inside of you in your body and just take a deep breath you will know what what's coming for you allow it to pass take a couple of deep breaths and remember that any acts that make you feel less shrunk is always lack of love and is not love itself so coming to our topic for today which is does love hurt i'm sure you know the answer by now love cannot hurt it just cannot hurt what hurts is lack of love yeah you heard me right i'll go again 
What hurts is lack of love. Love does not hurt. Love cannot hurt. That's not the nature of the emotion called love. Okay? So anytime when you have felt unlovable or unloved or when you have not been able to love somebody, remember, was it love that was hurting you or was it the lack of love that was hurting you? Think about it and you will have your answer. So it's always the lack of love that hurts. Now, what we see in movies and stuff as we talked about it, that we see toxicity as love. We see manipulation as love. We see uh, lack of commitment as love. We see, uh, you know, there are these uh, dialogues which say, if it does not hurt, it is not love. No, if it hurts, it is not love. So it's it's really, really, really love is as deep or beautiful a feeling that when you have it inside of you, you are literally like the most magical person um, there is. <laughs> because when you're able to feel that love inside, you're able to pass it on to someone else. Whatever you have inside of you is exactly what you will give to someone else. So you cannot hate yourself and love another person and say, I'm in love with them, but I don't like myself. It's not possible. It's totally not possible. So the only way you will feel like that is when you don't love yourself enough. So you try to find that things to fill that emptiness outside. However, that will continue to be felt in one thing and, uh, and you know after another, one person after another, one probably an addiction after another. It will continue to be there because the void is inside. The void of love is inside. And the only way that can be filled is also inside because the love is inside you. And when you stop looking for that love outside is when you will know that you were always lovable, that you are always loved. And the most important person who needs to love you is you yourself. And when you do that for yourself, the world will start to love you because the world is going to reflect back what's inside of you. Imagine when you're standing in front of a mirror, what will you see? Will you see yourself or will you see someone else you love? You will see yourself. That's exactly what will happen with the world. right? And there are many, many, many things that we talk about, about love. There are songs, there are millions of songs written on love, but everything is so deeply grounded in the lack. It's so deeply grounded where there is no love. But we have to remember that love is all about you, yourself, and love inside of yourself. And that's the key to returning to love, yes, and reminding you that love does not hurt. It's the absence of love that hurts. Anything that hurts is not love. I'll say that again. Absence of love hurts. Love does not hurt. Anything that hurts is not love. And I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this to think, to allow, to feel. Those moments in which when you felt deeply loved, you had so much love for yourself inside you. And in moments when you felt unloved, the love inside of you for yourself was not so much present and I know you have questions please feel free to type your questions to send it to them send them to me in your comments I am more than happy to take them up as the episodes progress and I would love to answer I am very happy and I'm, I'm on a mission to make you live the best relationships ever to make you live a life of love to make you live a life of happiness and I will be more than happy to support you with any questions that arise for you thank you for tuning in and here's me saying goodbye that's your host Divya Madhu of the return to love show thank you